What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at St. Bonaventure before that matchup with the LSU this coming Saturday. Before we get into the five starters for the Bonnies, make sure you stick around to the end of the video as we take a look at some relevant team stats. The Bonnies are on a four guard lineup primarily consisting of juniors Kyle Lofton and Dominic Welch, sophomore Jaron Holmes, and transfer Jalen Attaway. And their lone big is 6'10 junior Osun Ashunawi. Lofton is the engine of the team, serving as their primary ball handler. He leads the team in points, assists, and steals, and he plays about 38 minutes a night, which means he's only on their bench for about two minutes a night. St. Bonaventure does a really good job on offense with movement and spacing. They utilize a lot of screens and dribble handoffs. Lofton only shot about 9% from three over the first 11 games of the season, but in their last 10, he's at 39%. Whereas for his fellow wing, Dominic Welch, about 65% of his shots come from three. He makes about 41% of them, taking about six a night. He's fourth on the team in scoring with just under 12 a night. He isn't just a spot up shooter. He also shows the ability to kind of put the ball on the floor, you know, one or two dribbles and still hit that three at an efficient rate. The Bonnies play four guys that are under 6'5", but they're still a really good rebounding team, ranking 56th in the country in rebound rate. Welch leads the wings for the Bonnies, grabbing about six a night on his own. Jaron Holmes is another wing for the Bonnies that stretches the floor, taking about five threes a game and making them at a 39% clip. Holmes is their second leading scorer, putting up a hair under 14 a night. He can do a little bit more with the ball in his hands than Welch can, showing an ability to put the ball on the floor and getting into the paint. He's a creative finisher as well as a willing passer. Just for normalcy and conventional reasons, I'll describe Jalen Attaway as a stretch four. He's the guy that's going to be setting ball screens. He's the guy that's going to be picking and popping. He's the guy that's going to be running the baseline looking for dump offs. He only takes about 1.5 threes a game, makes him about 32% clip, but he's a fantastic glue guy that does a lot of things that a guy his size really doesn't normally do. And finally, we have their lone big Osun Usanawi. He has a 7'6 wingspan, which would be the second longest in the NBA today, trailing only Mo Bamba, the Orlando Magic. Osunui is a great shot blocker, ranking ninth in the nation with about three a game. But with his shot blocking also comes chasing blocks, just trying to contest everything. As you'll see here in a bit, I really can't say that the Bonnies even go six deep, so any foul trouble for them would be a big concern. Osunui possibly the biggest. He's a good passer in the post. They'll get it down there to him and he'll look to kick it out. And while he's not going to be taking any threes, he is a guy that if you leave him open, he'll take the jumper from the free throw line or the elbow or the short corner. And lastly, to finish off the video, I just wanted to take a look at some quick stats and facts. You know, I think this is a game that's just, it's the classic contrast of styles with LSU and St. Bonaventure. LSU is ranked fifth in the country in offensive efficiency. St. Bonaventure is 17th in defensive efficiency. The Bonnies are fourth nationally in points allowed at only 60 a game. LSU is eighth in points scored at 82. LSU is 78th in tempo. St. Bonaventure is 319. So I think you get the idea. While these are two teams I would say both play a little bit undersized, they are very different. So some quick stats that I made note of, like I mentioned earlier, St. Bonaventure plays at a very slow pace. They are 332nd in the country out of 347 teams. LSU, for comparison's sake, is 45th. St. Bonaventure is one of only 17 teams to rank inside the top 40 in Ken Palm, both offensively and defensively. They're 38th in offense and 17th in defense. They're 271st in the country in free throw rate, only attempting 16.1 free throws a game. And they're 296th in the country in three point rate, only attempting 18.5 per game. Which I find interesting, you know, with, with the guys that they have that are capable from three, you would think that they'd take more. And I specifically threw in the three point rate because you could you could explain that away by how slow of a pace they, t they play, but you know, three point rate takes that into account, you know, so they, just, they don't take a lot of threes and they don't get to the free throw line a lot, but yet they're still very good offensively. Defensively, they're only about average taking the ball away, 181st in the country in steal rate at six per game. But thanks to Asano, they're very high in the blocks, 34th in the country, they're blocking four a night. And like I've mentioned a couple times in this video, they really only play six guys. And the sixth guy is guard Alejandro Vasquez, who played 12, 13 minutes a night, and he shoots like 29% from the field. Their starters made up 90% of their minutes this season, which is the highest mark in the entire country. Their bench scored less than eight points a game. So that's all I have for you guys. Like I said, just some quick stats and facts. You know, uh, prediction-wise, I do think LSU's talent takes this one, but I 
really think it's going to be a close game. I believe LSU is favored by two as it stands right now. And, you know, I think I think they'll win by a couple possessions. But it'll definitely be a game that stays close throughout. And that's it, guys. Go ahead and drop your predictions down in the comments. As always, if you're not already subscribed, I think like 98% of my watch time comes from non-subscribers. So please go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you like content like this. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys back in the next video. As always, go Tigers. And uh, later. Bye.